Thanks a lot. Well, good evening, everybody. I am Kelly Porter, and uh, I am a very enthusiastic and dedicated investment banker with Woodside Capital Partners, and I also own this wonderful property that we call Stonebrook Court. And it is, uh, thank you. It is truly my great pleasure to welcome you here this evening for the 15th annual SV Forum Visionary Awards presentation. We have an extraordinary group on stage uh, that not only includes uh, you know, the people who are accepting the awards, but also the people making the introductions and everyone in between. This is the, uh, the third year that the Visionary Awards have been held here, and it's quite fitting that the house was built about 100 years ago by a guy named Percy Morgan, who was a venture capitalist back when Sand Hill Road was a horse trail. Um, you might uh, actually call Percy the, the Jim Breyer uh, of his day. He, he was the original investor in some of the hottest ventures of his time, including the uh, Pacific Bell Phone Company, Wells Fargo Bank, and the California Wine Association, which controlled about 80% of the grape and wine production back before Prohibition. And uh, he also hung out with some really accomplished people like Collis Huntington, Adolf Sutro, uh, George Crocker, and, and Evans Pillsbury. So he was a very cool guy. Um, so the house has been many things over the years. It's been uh, a brothel uh, back in the 30s and 40s, uh, run by a, a notorious madam named Gypsy Buys. And uh, it was a private school called the Ford Country Day School in the 50s through the 80s. And uh, I, in case you've never been here before, I always take a survey. Uh, did anybody go to the school? Your, your brother did. Did anybody visit the brothel? Come on, you're among friends. <laughs> We won't tell anybody. Did anybody work in the brothel? All right. That one never gets a response, and I don't know why. Um, so I bought the house in 1999 when it was a broken down um, shambles. It was at, at risk of being torn down by developers. And uh, my vision was to restore the place for the next 100 years and future generations. And uh, we undertook a seven-year restoration. We had 50 to 75 people here every day. And at the end of the project, I thought a lot about the wisdom of spending all that dough uh, on a house, especially uh, when there are a lot of people around the world who have you know, a lot of need. Well, part of the vision was to share the house with extraordinary organizations like SV Forum, which is something that I do regularly, almost monthly. Some, you know, recently, it's been every couple of weeks. And uh, the other day, I added up how much money the nonprofits that have done events here have made. And I'm very proud to say it was $5 million was the number. So <laughs> tremendous. Something, something very proud of. So, so with that, I want to welcome you again. Uh, enjoy the show. Enjoy the evening. Have a wonderful evening. And uh, I'd like to introduce Deborah Maggot. Thank you. Uh, we're very lucky to have such a gracious host, and he's arranged fabulous weather for us, which is no mean feat and not something that everyone can do. Uh, this is, as we've said a few times already, our 15th annual Visionary Awards. The first one was back in 98, and I have to say I was not at that one. But uh, we've been a very uh, busy organization since the 14th annual Visionary Award, which was on this lawn in this very spot. Uh, we introduced our new SV Forum branding last year. We've held a couple hundred events, everything from uh, clean tech breakfasts, health tech breakfasts with our new sponsor, Genentech. Thank you, Genentech. Um, we have an amazing volunteer organization that's put on uh, special uh, events every single week for the special interest groups, and the staff and volunteers have put together some very amazing large-scale events, especially the, my favorite from last year, Education and Tech, which uh, one of our visionaries I'm sure will be uh, very excited to hear about. So. One of the busier things uh, that we had to deal with last year was our, our CEO, Susan Lucas-Conwell, went to take a job up in the city within a very nice private company. And uh, Ju uh, Jim Lussier, where's Jim? Jim Lussier, a uh, venture capitalist and board member, stepped into the breach. And we conducted a search all across the country to find a new CEO. And what did we find? We found Chris Gill right under our noses here in Silicon Valley running S-Base. And so we're very happy to have found him. Uh, for those of you who don't know Chris, um, 
He's a serial entrepreneur himself, and you might have come across him in and around the Valley because he's often speaking at events. He teaches uh, classes at the MBA schools and gives lectures. He coaches entrepreneurs and is a real role model for the startup companies we have around here. And in fact, he does that all around the world. Uh, he also can be seen, if you listen well and look well, playing rock guitar at some real dive bars around Silicon Valley. Who doesn't love a dive bar? Or shall I say, who doesn't love a rock guitarist? So without further ado, let me introduce Chris Gill, the ever creative and charming CEO of SV Forum. Goodness gracious me, how do I follow that? Not only do I have that to live, live, live up to, but um, uh, you know, I've got this tremendous group with me up on here on the stage. So thank you very much, Deborah. Um, as CEO of SV Forum, it is my great delight to welcome you here uh, to, for the SV Forum's 15th Annual Visionary a a Award Ceremony and the first since SVs joined with SV Forum. So I'd also like to, also like to take this opportunity to recognise our staff, as already been mentioned, who manage over 200 events per year. That's an event per working day, including this one. They make my life very, very easy because they're outstanding staff. The volunteers and program chairs who help us do a lot of these programs, they're a key part of our 2,600 membership. 2,600 and growing at the fastest pace ever. We've had the fastest sign-up rate uh, ever in the history of the organisation in May, and we're now at the highest level the organisation has ever had. And it's continuing to, to, to grow. Our 40 annual sponsors, and in particular our sponsors for this event, uh, Deloitte, King & Sporting, Nokia, City Ventures, and Silicon Valley Bank, without whom this event would not be possible. So thank you very much for that. And I'd like to, to welcome some of our new sponsors, particularly King & Sporting, Procopio, Shepard Mullin, G G Genentech, amongst others. So thank you all again. Without your sponsorship, the organisation could not e exist and this event couldn't happen. I'd also like to take the opportunity, because I've got you here, and... Um, uh, Having had you here, you know, the thought of having a captive audience of 250 people to bring the guitar out and do some rock was almost overwhelming. You'd have been the biggest audience I'd have had to date. But, um, but uh, I'd like to, to thank the board of di directors of SV4, who really are you know, a dedicated team that have helped make the organisation um, an outstanding advice and su su support resource for entrepreneurs and technologists within Silicon Valley. And I'd also like to mention some of the, the members, the board members who rotated off the board this year. Uh, Jim Lucier has already been mentioned, Brian Goncher of Deloitte, Henry Thierry uh, of uh, uh, no no Nokia, he's now the CTO of Nokia and his workload just doesn't allow him to do that, and uh, Daniel Lewin, who was very instrumental in helping us uh, find um, some of the uh, uh, honorees we have with us uh, to tonight. He's, um, he's vacationing in Europe, and for some reason, you know, I couldn't get him to get the priorities shifted, you know. So. But um, uh, plus our previous hon honorees who have joined us tonight, uh, and a special welcome to Heidi Rosen, who I think has already been mentioned. Uh, Tom Prooks, who I think is here. Tom, good to see you. Uh, Anne Wimblad, of course. And, and Promote Huck. I don't know if Promote is. There we go, there's Promote. It's a great pleasure. Thank you for coming along. Very much appreciate it. And also a, a great thanks to our gracious host, Kelly Porter. Um, yes. <laughs> One final thank you uh, to those of you who don't know. We've recently moved into new offices at the Sobrato uh, Centre for Nonprofits in Redwood City. It's an outstanding. Uh, place for us to have offices with terrific resources and uh, we'd like to thank the Sobrato Family Foundation for helping us do that. That's a terrific gift there. <laughs> so to keep things moving along, because I know I'm standing between you and some more drinks and some, and some lunch and, and seeing and hearing from the visionaries, um, each of the 2012 visionaries ha has reached further and innovated in ways that make a significant in impact in this world and be be beyond. I mean, this is just outstanding. They know better than most that magic formula of vision, persistence, leadership, 
skill and luck that leads to success. Individually, they've all been recognized recently as leaders in their field, including Jim listed as number one on the Forbes Midas list of venture in, in investors, Sal as one of the time top 100 most influential people in the world, Elan with the success of the SpaceX Dragon capsule and the Tesla Roadster and the launch of the Model S, and David as author of The Facebook Effect and founder and CEO of Tech Techonomy Media, amongst a host of other accomplishments in technology media. So David, Elon, Jim and Sal, you embody the SV Forum ethos of inspiring and supporting people to reach further, to create new approaches, new technologies, new products, new companies, even new industries. So thank you for accepting the SV Forum Visionary Award and for being with us this, this evening. And now I'd like to say a few words about Andrew Brachia, who will be...